moment to moment, moment to moment. Um, I don't wish it on anyone. This this moment is has been overwhelming for all of us. Um, first and foremost, to the families that were lost. Obviously, their lives have been turned upside down. To our brother Kobe and his family, Vanessa and Natalia, Bianca, Capri. We send our prayers and condolences. Um, my family went through, in the midst of all of this, something I couldn't have imagined them experiencing. Um, I spent time talking to my kids for about 45 minutes as this was all happening, and our colleague Jared Greenberg brought to me the news that morning, and he, he asked uh, by text if I had heard of the story, and I, I said, uh, oh, the the shoes that Kobe gave LeBron and Kobe passed him last night? And he said, no, he said, this is, um, you know, you need to sit down. And uh, he texted me the article and I just, I, I went into full blown denial. And fortunately, you know, one of my, my daughter's greatest fears is finding out that a parent or one of her parents would be lost uh, through social media. Instead of from a, a you know a loved one or a family member, and and uh, you know she fortunately called me, and we just were talking and crying about the news of Kobe, and and my son, and then we started you know so we were talking. I was talking to my kids, just trying to spend the time with them, and then the phone just started going off, and, and I'm thinking to myself, everybody wants to talk about Kobe, and and I right now want to be with my kids and my family, and then all of a sudden, my best friend King Rice. He was a basketball coach. You know King Kenny. North I'll Carolina. Tell you, I'll I just tell you the story yeah, between King yeah. and King. Yeah, okay, he, he, he walked off the court at Iona and somebody apparently told him that I may have been on the helicopter and he he started calling. So I'm seeing King's number, you know, repeatedly going and going and going and I think he's worried about me. So I said, I'm gonna talk to my best friend and I answered it and I said, Hey man, this is crazy about Kobe and he just was bawling. And I started crying and he was like, You're alive. And I'm thinking, well, yeah, like, what do you mean? And he, and it was in that moment that I, my phone just started going and my mom and my sister and my brother. And, and so look, this, is, this, has been, this has been a lot to, to process for all of us. Um, quite frankly, um, we're, we're blessed to have had the time we had with Kobe. Um, a city is mourning, a family's mourning, where we're all mourning and, and I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't, you know, I'm glad that's over with, but it was hard to, to deal with because um, it shook a lot of people in my life. Finding out as I was on my way to LAX to travel, um, started getting text messages. Please don't tell me this is Kobe. And again, I'm thinking about the night before still. So I'm confused as to why somebody's texting me just saying that and that's it uh, so then I get a call from my fiance and I can hear in her voice something's not right so now my heart starts to really speed up then my brother texts me with the first media story attached to the message and I lost it luckily I was a passenger in the vehicle so now I have to explain to my guy Duran who's with me tonight like what just happened, mm -hmm. he loses it. My kids start calling me and asking me to come back home. Do not go to the airport and get on the airplane. They're devastated and I get back home before I can get in front of a television, just as a family, we're all hugging each other and saying we love each other mm -hmm. because you never know if that's gonna be the last moment. My mom calls me, which took this to a another level of pain my mom calls me she lives in Little Rock she tells me Rick's the rumor is that Rick was there too and that broke that broke my heart already thinking about Kobe learning about Rick and then when I got home and started watching CNN I find out it's where it happened which is three exits from my house. And then I knew exactly where he was on his way to. Yeah. Which then, before I even heard on the news, 
You knew what it and was. I knew where he was going, and it was possible. That your sons and everybody in your in your family playing these AAU tournaments there, you knew exactly what was going on. And it was possible that his more family with him, whether it's Gianna or Vanessa or other, like I was, I was done, and I just. That's what I don't want to get lost in the pain, like as I try to figure out the right things to focus on to help us get through it, is what he was doing for young people and young girls and women. Um, he's, he's not here anymore, but somehow we have to continue to find the strength to do more for other people than we would do for ourselves. Like you said earlier, Kenny, like, he didn't have to spend the time he was spending doing yeah. all of these things for young people and young girls, of course, for his own daughter. But I just hate that this had to happen in order for us to appreciate the full version of Kobe Bryant, not just the athletic greatness, but like the full version of who he. And appreciate each other.